二零二零年十二月一日，欧洲最大的数字出版社 Axel Springer 授予马斯克施普林格奖，以表彰他的人生成就。所有人坐在一个模拟成太空飞船的会场里，体验太空旅行，身临其境，畅谈人类未来。会谈主题有登陆火星计划、通用人工智能的发展、对中国的看法。首先回顾马斯克的成长，出生在南非。从小爱读科幻，每天读书十个小时，学会了怎么写程序赚钱。之后为逃脱兵役飞到加拿大，然后到达美国，开始了他的求学和创业，开始了开挂的人生历程。之后访谈开始了。And you seriously want to be buried on Mars? <laughs> Just not on <an> impact. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna, yeah, listen, we're all gonna die someday.、Um, so, if you're gonna die someday, I'm like, okay, do you want to be buried on Mars or Earth? I'm like, Mars sounds cool. Born on Earth, die on Mars. That's,、uh, you know, if you've got the choice. Elon, you have so many projects. It's not only Tesla or SpaceX. It's Neuralink.、Uh, it's the Boring Company.、Uh, uh, so many things. And when we discussed last time, I asked you what is the most important project or the most important topic for you to deal with in the foreseeable future. And you said that is truly the role that AI is going to play in our society. Could you explain、yeah. why and why that? Is a big opportunity, but also seems to worry you.、Uh... Yeah, I think. Well, I mean, humans have been the smartest creature on Earth for a long time, and that is going to change with、uh, what's typically called artificial general intelligence. Musk 提到一个词，通用人工智能。通用人工智能是针对目前应用较多的人工智能来说的，比如 AlphaGo 是下棋超过人类，自动驾驶是开车超过人类，作曲人工智能是会音乐。这类人工智能是局限于某个特定领域的。通用人工智能就是能够在所有领域，在现实生活中像人类一样思考、一样行为的人工智能。所以，通用人工智能的发展成熟，可能真正代表了人工智能超过人类。Uh, so this is say an AI that is、uh, smarter than a human in every way. Could could even simulate a human.、Uh, so. You know, th th this is something we should be concerned about. I think there should be、uh, government oversight of、uh, AI developments,、um, especially super advanced AI. It's just this is anything that is a potential、uh, da danger to the public. We generally agree that this should have、uh, government oversight to ensure that the the public safety is taken care of. Because、um, you feel that one day uh, the uh, uh, mankind could serve the machines and not the other way around. Honestly, when I see people on their phones, I think we already serve the machine. Seventy now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like everyone's、uh, answering. The advent of artificial general intelligence is called the singularity for a reason, because just like a black hole, which is a singular singularity, it's difficult to predict what will happen.、Um, 基点是数学上的概念，简单来说，可以理解成玩游戏时的未知传送门。你不知道门在那边会有什么。So it's not as though the advent of AGI is necessarily bad, but it's bad is one of the possible outcomes. And when is singularity in the in the definition of、uh, Ray Kurzweil going to happen?、Um, well, I think you're saying he he is predicting 2025. I think that's、uh, reasonably accurate.、Mm. And how can it be avoided? That is then、uh, more a threat for humanity than an opportunity. Is it a question of governance, so that there is not too much power、yeah. in one or in few hands? Or how would you、yeah. how would you make sure that it goes into the right direction? I think we should have、uh, a, a government oversight, just like we do. We have、uh, government oversight and regulation of、uh, cars and aircraft, and、uh, food and pharmaceuticals. These are all,、uh, you know, there's a there are regulators that oversee、uh, these developments to ensure public safety,、um, and I think.、Uh, Digital superintelligence would also be potentially a public safety risk.
and so it should be. It's, I think it's very important to for uh, regulators to keep an eye on that. You, you know, like we wouldn't let people develop uh, a nuclear bomb in the backyard just for the hell of it. You know, that that seems crazy. So. Digital superintelligence, I think, has the potential to be more dangerous than a nuclear bomb. So, yeah, we should uh, just, somebody should be keeping an eye. We do well, but uh, China has other rules and uh, a different regulatory framework uh, that is another uh, yeah, I don't, I don't challenge. Think, yeah, I, I generally, like, that, this is one of the rebuttals I get from those developing AI, and Tesla is also developing a form of AI with self-driving, but it's a very narrow form of AI. It's just mm -hmm. like, um, it, like the car's not going to wake up Sunday one day and take over the world. Um, so, so it's, it's uh, but, but the, the rebuttal I get is like, well, you know, China is going to have unfettered uh, AI development, and so if, if we have regulations and it slows us down, then China will have it. And I'm like, look, I, from my conversations with uh, government officials in China, they are. They, they, they're quite concerned about AI as well, and they, uh, in fact, they're probably more likely to have uh, good oversight than, I think, other countries.